Howdy y'all, welcome to another episode of The Crappy Guitarist. Um, doing something a little bit different today. Uh, so this is the pedal board I've been using, right? It's a medium-sized pedal train, and that's my puppy. But as you can see, like to get down in here, right? It's a mess. I got my Jocks DC-10 over here. There's wires everywhere, it's a nightmare. So I thought I would build another pedal board. And um, I got my dogs all up in my face now. So what I've got is the Fender uh, medium-sized pedal board with the LV or the engine room LV8, and we'll be unboxing that today as the dog shakes and licks the camera. Uh, so this is the new Fender uh, pedal board. So I bought the bundle from Sweetwater, which includes the um, engine room LV8 and nine piece cable kit. It's all $400. If you buy the pedal board and the engine room separate, they're each 100 and, or 220 or 219.99. Um, and so that's already 420, right? So you save about $105 overall if you buy the Sweetwater bundle. I'll put the link in the description. Um, so this is a case, the case is much more padded and thicker than the one that comes with um, my pedal train, of course, that was really old, so they may have updated it since then. Um, and the case is about 20, 28 inches uh, wide, 15 deep, 8 inches tall. So here's how the inside of the case. It's got nice straps, but this is the nine-piece cable kit. And then the engine room, and we'll cover the engine room next. We'll go into the parts with the, um, with the pedal board. Um, but you can see um, it's got nice velcro um, strap tie downs um, and a lot of extra room for your pedals inside the case um, and then the um, the reason i chose the fender was the cable management that's already built in and the bracket is built in um, and we'll compare that with the engine room and with my um, uh, dc10 so more to come all right, so this is the LV8 engine room power supply from Fender. Um, it's got eight uh, ground isolated outputs. Six outlets are fixed at nine volt DC at 500 milliamps. Two outputs outlets are switchable uh, between nine, 12, and 18 volts. Uh, it is a switching power supply. Uh, the other neat thing about it is, here, let's open it up and I'll show you. There we go. So here is, the DC-10, let's go this way, you can actually see it, right? So here's the DC-10 in comparison. So the DC-10 is a little wider. It's obviously a fraction, it's not as long, um, but it's the same configuration. So uh, it won't do an 18 volt. And then um, about the same thickness. But this is what, so I haven't even taken this out yet, right? This is total unboxing here. Let's get that way out here. So this part right here, let's see, right? USB um, A and a USB C connector. Here are the others. So what I'm thinking is this should be able to power my Line 6 Relay G10, which we will test. You see these are the two switching uh, outlets between 9, 12, and 18 volts and then this single uh, nine volt, 500 milliamp. And that's that, let's, um, I'm gonna pull. So here's the back side. it's got a small fan, um, and then the, the IEC connector. I think I have another IEC connector. Let's plug this in. I'm gonna plug it into my Furman right there. Turn it on. So here is the relay. And if we plug this in here, we got a light, dock. I can't tell if it's, it looks like it's charging. The relay light is flashing. And it's green, but we'll hook it up to the pedal board when I get it all set and um, and give it a shot.
Okay, so real quick, let's go over the things that come with the pedal board. Um, so you get two big rolls of uh, Velcro, package zip ties, a package of these are the little, it's gonna be hard to see, right? Cable management clips that fit into the bottom. You just got that little thing, just gonna give them a squeeze and they pop in. And then um, a package of these, which look like uh, they got the Fender F, but they sort of, I, I think you can take the, pop these, fit on the side panels, right? And then you can pop these out and use them for cable management. So if you wanted to put a uh, quarter inch jack or an XLR as well. And then this is just, this is for the um, bracket, right? So one goes down on the bottom side of the pedal board, the other goes on the bottom side of the bracket and just gives you a nice soft uh, mounting point. So we have Virgin pedal board. Um, chrome, it's the same size, I'll carry it over and I'll show it to you on the other, but here it is. There's the mounting point, but let's take, this is the jack, this is where the, um, right, so you've got mounting points, or jack points, right, and then these little suckers just plug in here. And then we roll over to the bottom. So here is the mounting point, but then let's cover it, so the wire management, right, you take the little clips, and they just clip right in there. Right, so for my situation where we're always changing the pedals and making new videos, this is gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna to need to get a screwdriver to, to take this top off, but we'll mount, the, uh, we'll mount the power supply in there and I'm gonna look. Okay, so you can see if I use the chocks DC-10, I can also get my Axis OTS-1 uh, buffer in. But if I go with the engine room, which is probably what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the buffer on the board. The engine room is too big, right? It's much longer than the um, DC-10, and so it won't fit with the buffer. But as you see, like we can swing this out of the way. Let's move the buffer and the chucks. So an LT, um, the LV-12, which is the bigger um, version of the um, engine room, right, will fit. And I guess if we center this, right, and then it fits right there. We're gonna, I need to put the strips on to mount it, and then I can put the pedal, the buffer on top of the pedal board. But you see how that works. This is pretty slick. I actually really like in this pedal board. Okay, so let's mount the strips. This is always fun, especially after you've bitten your chewed your fingernails. So if you hadn't had 20 cups of coffee and you're shaking like a dog shitting razor blades. All right, here we go. Just put this like right in the middle. Not perfectly straight, but nobody will see it. All right. This bad boy in here. Put this in here. It's just as simple as screwing it down. Tape. All right, so there we have it. Let's, uh, right, we get the IC connector and the fan. There's a little bit of a gap, but man, that sucker ain't, ain't going anywhere. I'll put the rest of the plug in. Let's go. Oh, if you can see this, wait, wait, two handles on either side make it easy to grab. It's, uh, right, whoop, hit the stand. There we got the power supplies coming out there. And, uh, 
right from the top it looks looks exactly the same let's put our let me put our axis over here where it was on the other board and off we go all right so this is the nightmare that is the current pedal board as you can see it's the exact just going to put this on top it's the exact same size as the other it's just going to look neater because we'll have cables and things in the right place.